Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. If you saw the last video and it didn't resonate with you, don't worry. It's not my typical video. I do realize we have a lot of new people on the channel and I just wanted to mention uh, my name is Christy, by the way, <clears throat> and I've been reading cards for as long as I can remember. My grandmother and I used to play cards when I was little, and she taught me the names of the playing cards that we played with, like the King of Hearts, the Queen of Hearts, um, and the personalities of those cards. And that's what kind of got me interested in tarot, because when I realized there were actually tarot cards, then I started picking them up, probably in my early 20s and I've been playing off and on ever since so I love playing with cards I love my spirit guides I love my ancestors and I connect with them in this way and so I love to do readings <clears throat> I don't charge for my readings uh, if I do a private reading, I do usually take pay for those. I don't, I don't charge an extreme amount. I know some readers charge a hundred dollars or more, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's not that I don't feel like I'm worth that. It's just that I don't feel that most people, the average person, can afford that. And I want to allow my gift to be available to whoever needs it, whether they can afford it or not. And I trust that Spirit will take care of me, and Spirit always does. If you know me personally, you could vouch for that. Um, because I am a very giving, loving, compassionate person, and sometimes I can go too far with that and be overgiving. And even in that, Spirit blesses me and returns it back to me. Even though there, I, there's never an expectation of that to happen. It just automatically does. So, <coughs> excuse me. I came back because I wanted to do another reading for the collective. The, the song that came through before I forget was Surviving the Game. <laughs> and I was actually coming back to do a Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading, which I haven't done in a very long time. Um, I used to do them pretty regularly, but I quit doing that. Um, a lot of the people that I knew that, you know, were watching the channel had not decided to stay on that journey. And so why keep putting it in, you know, in their face if they're not on that journey? But I do want you to understand something, that when I do this reading, if you're not on a twin flame journey, and you're with or looking for a soulmate, then you can, you can interpret the cards for the person that you're interested in, and you can just exchange, when I say Divine Masculine, that might be your soulmate. It could be a soulmate that you are interested in knowing what's going on with that person okay so the way I normally start this is I do divine masculine and divine feminine I pull tarot for each and I use separate decks you'll see how it goes and you'll catch on very quickly all right so I'm going to start out with divine feminine and I'm going to use the red deck and I'm just going to shuffle them a little because I haven't shuffled them since the last how are you working in the Divine Feminine? Do you see that? How quickly that happened? Judgment. Divine Feminine is seeing the truth. Okay? And not deciding to take a risk. What, what we don't see coming is because she's seeing the truth, she's like, I'm not taking a risk. This is not a good idea. Alright, let's see what's going on with Divine Masculine. Alright, what's going on with the Divine Masculine Spirit? May we see, please? What's 
going on with the Divine Masculine or Divine Soulmate? What's going on with the Divine Masculine or the Divine Soulmate? There we go. Divine Masculine, Divine Soulmate is using their intuition. Interesting. And ending something. They're at the end of a cycle. They're coming to the end of a very significant cycle in their life. And they're using their intuition, which is beautiful. Congratulations, Divine Masculine. And I do have a lot of amazing Divine Masculines who watch my channel. So right now, what I'm seeing is I'm seeing a Divine Feminine who's using good judgment and not taking risk in a divine masculine who's using their intuition and they're ending some cycle that they've been through in their life. Now, normally I use um, my big, wherever I put them, they're over there somewhere. Um, they're called virtue cards. And I started recently using sacred destiny instead for some reason. And I like it and I'm going to keep doing it. So, can you show me how you're working in the Divine Feminine's life spirit? There's something in the drawer also for us to use because it keeps popping out. Can you show me how you're working in her life? Change and trust. And I use her for Divine Feminine and him for Divine Masculine. But as you know, it's only energy and you can reverse the roles. If you're showing up as the Masculine, it's because you're in your Masculine energy right now. You're being very strong. I forgot what I even said. But anyway, she has protection and trust. I think I said change and trust. She has protection and trust showing up. All right, how are you work one more time, Spirit said? Happiness and trust. So she's happy and she's trusting for something. All right, how are you working in Divine Feminine's life? And so far we have Libra, we have Aries, we have Pisces, and we have Taurus on the board. How are you working in the virtues in Divine Feminine's life, Spirit? What lessons is she learning right now? She's being transformed. She's been at a standstill. But she's moving into leadership. She's being transformed by a standstill that's leading her to leadership. And there are planetary alignments that I see. I see a yellow rose. Somebody may be into butterflies, especially blue ones and monarch butterflies. Um, somebody could live near a swamp. Uh, I see a crane, the bird, a crane. I see moss hanging from trees. You could be in Louisiana, or there could be something significant in your life about Louisiana. Somebody has a dog. It could be white with red trim. Somebody has a hat that's black. And it has gray somehow on it. I'm hearing Jameson. Jameson. And I'm also hearing Matthew. Okay, let's see how the Spirit's working in Divine Masculine's life. In Divine Feminine's having a transformation. She's been at a standstill, but it's, it's sending her into leadership. And she's using good judgment. She's seeing the truth about a situation. And she knows that she does not need to take a risk. Or there could be something that's risky that she is concerned about and using her good judgment about. Divine Masculine has healing chaos and truth. And is using the intuition. One more time. Flexibility and healing chaos. Divine masculine healing. I 
I lost my husband back in September, and then it just if you remember, you if you weren't here, if you were here, you remember. I was not allowed, Spirit would not allow me to do a reading for four days before his death. But paranormal things happened here at the house that people knew about. It was very weird. Anyway, maybe I'll tell you more about it some other time. Back to what's going on with Divine Masculine. How are you working in Divine Masculine's life? When it comes to the virtues, to the sacred destiny. Illumination. We see that with the high priestess. Divine Masculine, you're illuminating. You're having to learn patience. But you're also getting wisdom from this. Wonderful. So, you're illuminated. You're being shown things through... Your crown chakra, you're getting downloads. I see the downloads that are coming in through your crown. You're getting a lot of information that's coming in. You're having to be patient, but it's teaching you wisdom. Saltwater fish are significant. Somehow there's a mermaid. I see a mermaid. Somebody could actually have a tattoo of a mermaid. Or you could draw, and you have drawn recently a mermaid. For some reason, my eye is itching, my right eye. Okay. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have happiness. So, the two of you are happy. You're not, it doesn't look like together necessarily, but... You're happy. All right, so how are you working between the two of them? Voyage and potential. So there's a potential. There's potential for this relationship to go on a journey, on a voyage. Somebody may have to travel to see the other. And you're going to be in the flow. That's beautiful. This is a beautiful reading so far. I love this. All right, so I'm going to put these back in the box to get them out of the way. And now we're going to pull a few other things just to kind of see where you guys are at. Let's see what Divine Masculine would say to Divine Feminine and vice versa. I have some cards here that I use. If Divine Feminine could send a text message... This one is stuck like Chuck. When a card gets stuck like that and I can't pick it up, it's usually, they told me you were full of it. So maybe somebody told you that this person was full of it. And maybe they are. I don't want a relationship. They told me you were full of it. <laughs> These are very hard to shuffle. But I am going to try to shuffle them a couple of times. I wish I was there with you. They told me you were full of it. <laughs> Apparently you found out that wasn't true. Alright, if Divine Feminine could send a text message to Divine Masculine, what would it say? I'm empty. My feelings are on E. Why don't you ever respond to my text messages in a reasonable time? I can't stand you. You drive me crazy. What the fuck did I get myself into? And call me, call me, call me. Delete, delete, delete. LOL, driving you crazy. All right, so obviously her feelings are on E. She doesn't understand why you can't respond to her text messages in a reasonable time or ever. And she acts like she can't stand you and doesn't understand what the fuck she's gotten herself into. But she wants you to call her. Call me, call me, call me. Why don't you ever call me? Why don't you answer my text and why don't you call me? That's her biggest pet peeve right now when it comes to Divine Masculine. Alright, what would he say to her? You are my impossible love. <laughs> And I don't want a relationship <laughs> on the bottom of the deck. So one or neither of you wants to be in a relationship. Would he say anything else to her besides your mind possible love? So he does love you. 
he just feels like the love is impossible. Shaking my head, damn, you drive me crazy. <laughs> and you have me confused with someone else. Don't you hate it when they say that? <laughs> I'm not your twin flame. Somebody else is. Bullshit. You know you're their twin flame. Stop lying. Okay. <clears throat> so, let's pull some cards and find out what's going on with this relationship. Show me what's going on with the Divine Feminine Spirit. This deck of cards got wet. <laughs> And I thought they were never going to snap back, but they have. What's going on with Divine Feminine is there's been a divine detour, a divine intervention that led to a detour, and somebody needing to express their truth, but they might not be able to for some reason. Somebody has not expressed the truth, it looks like. All right. Show me what's going on with the Divine Feminine Spirit. Ooh, that came out real fast. The Divine Feminine is closed off, guarded, and resistant. So, that's why she's using this judgment card. And she's like, no, not going to happen. Not going to happen. You don't answer my phone calls, my text messages. If you can't be there when I need you, I'm not going to be a fool. I know better. She's being transformed because this has been at a standstill. And she's in leadership. She's, she's going into her leadership position in life. She's working on herself, doing her own thing. She probably has a very good job, a career, or she is a home, you know, like a homemaker, a good mother, that kind of thing. Don't forget now, twin flames do not have to be romantic partners. They can be business partners. They can be friends. And they can be lovers. Okay? Alright, what's going on with Divine Masculine? Divine Masculine. Wow. Divine Feminine, you showed up in Divine Masculine's energy. So, he's thinking about you and how he doesn't want to have a commitment and he is not... <clears throat> okay. He's feeling a separation of not having this commitment. That's what he's doing. He's feeling that. He feels the separation of not having a commitment with you. Why are you so closed off? I'm not going to take that. It felt floppy. Why are you so closed off to him? You're getting messages in your dreams. The sun, the strength card, and empowerment came out in reverse with wearing a facade about beliefs in reverse and toxic patterns and being bound to toxicity. So, you're getting messages in your dreams that are telling you that this person, it would be disempowering because they are wearing a facade, remember? You have me confused with somebody else. And they're toxic. They have some toxic patterns that they're bound to. And you're not going to get involved in that because you're healthy. And <clears throat> they don't have a solid foundation either. So that means that they probably are living with their parents or homeless or living with somebody and they really don't have their feet on or not really on the ground firmly right now and do you want the relationship at all i don't know because i can't really tell it doesn't look like it but does he yes he does even though he feels like you drive him crazy not having this commitment 
he's feeling the separation of not having you. You are in his energy very strongly. Alright, so let's see secrets of the heart. Secretly, how does Divine Feminine feel? She feels like you're her friend, but you're you're at a distance. So you live at a distance, and there's a card in the wrong deck. But I'm going to leave it there and see if it comes out. Somebody is a friend, but they have a lot of pride in you guys. Secretly, how does Divine Feminine feel? She feels better off just being your friend. Uh, this is how she secretly feels. What she would never tell anyone. How does she secretly feel about this relationship? It came out in reverse. <laughs> But only you, only you, she really only wants you. Why is it in reverse? Why is it in reverse? Because she doesn't want to have to chase you. She's not going to chase a man. She's been there, done that, got the t-shirt, and she's over it. She's not going to chase you. Alright, how does, and somebody won't keep their promises. They, or maybe she wants marriage and that's not something that you are interested in. Divine Masculine is hoping for vows. So maybe he wants to get married and you don't. <laughs> Somebody's got marriage on their mind or promises. Somebody misses the nourishment that came with this relationship with the promises that were kept because I think you are somebody divine feminine who keeps her promises somebody's letting go of vows so maybe he's getting a divorce alright what's going on with divine masculine secretly how does he feel about this relationship secretly that he would never say out loud to anyone I'm not going to take it Spirit said, yes, you are. He feels like he's elusive, dishonest, and tricky. It came out in reverse. I turned it up right. He feels like he needs to stop being dishonest and tricky. That's how he feels. But he would never tell you that. And that he needs to stop chasing thrills. So there may be some addiction going on. Or he may be chasing other women. Anything else that he feels secretly about. Oh, this flew out. He feels like this is his dream come true. You are his dream come true. Or he feels like it's a fantasy. Clarify fantasy. Yeah, he's receptive to this. He wants this. His heart is open, soft, and vulnerable. He feels like you are his dream come true. Truly, he does. Oh, and the card that was in the wrong deck is on the bottom. Don't lose hope. And then Divine Feminine, you're underneath in reverse. So, it's like, it's saying to Divine Masculine, don't lose hope just because she's not receptive right now. She's obviously been hurt or something. She feels like you have a lot of toxicity and that you're wearing a facade and that it would be disempowering for her. There's dreams also. She's having dreams that are guiding her. Her spirit guides are guiding her in her dreams. And showing her what moves to make and what moves not to make is what it looks like to me. <clears throat> All right, now we're going to pull Tarot in just a moment. The answer is yes in the winter. It's still kind of winter now, so I don't know if this is this time of year or last year or the next coming year or what. Some winter. The answer is yes to compromise.
maybe we're going to come to a compromise about how this relationship can work. The answer is yes, and you're mirroring one another. So both of you really want to say yes to this. All right, where's Divine Feminine at in this journey, Spirit? May I see, please? Wow, that's a lot of cards. Again, you're going through this transformation. You're mirroring Divine Masculine. So he's going through a transformation also. They, it all came out in reverse. But the answer is yes, I've changed. And I want to compromise. That's how you both feel because you're mirroring each other. What's going on with Divine Masculine? <laughs> y'all, y'all, Divine Masculine is not playing. He came out straight out with you as his twin flame. So where you feel like he, it's not him, it's you. Fresh start on the bottom of the deck in reverse. It's you, Divine Feminine, who doesn't believe that this is real or something. You're closed off to this. And Divine Masculine is all about it. Using their intuition, you might have to reverse roles. Like, this could be the Feminine. But the Feminine is showing up in her own stuff, if this is the feminine. If, she, if she's showing up as the masculine, and she's, like, if you resonate with this pile, you're showing up in your reading. Like, I'm the masculine, but I know <clears throat> what I want. This person over here is closed off. They're mirroring you, though, and they, they want this, and they want to change, and are indeed going through change. What's the change they're going through, this metamorphosis we keep seeing? It has to do with not seeing signs and refocusing. Not, they're missing the signs, and they're having to refocus. And they want a fresh start. What's connecting these two? Shadow work. There was some shadow work that had to be done in the fall. Something happened in the fall. Can you clarify that further? There was destruction. Somebody was abandoned. They're being watched. And there was destruction. It could have been somebody that was watching them. That abandoned them. They're not watching them anymore. But there was destruction in the fall. I know in my case, my husband died in the fall and left me. Which would be an abandonment. And he isn't able to watch anymore. And it just destroyed me. But this is what's connecting you is there's been, both of you have had somebody that's abandoned you or left you. And somebody is secretly, I think somebody has a secret profile, like they're under a fake name. Both of you may. <laughs> and there's been a lot of destruction and that's why you're both alone. But don't lose hope. Spirit says don't lose hope. Alright, now we're going to pull Tarot on the Tarot. And I'm going to use this Twin Flame deck for Divine Feminine. You have the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands. So you're very passionate about moving forward here. With something. Why is judgment here? Because of you intuitively knowing that something is over, like even dead. Intuitively 
knowing that there's a death. Why is death here? The Ten of Swords death. That's why the Ace of Wands is here. Because of the wheel, healing and recovery, and no more mind games. It's like somebody hurt you. They stabbed you in the back. Intuitively, you knew that they would. You got pissed off. There was a wheel. There was healing. And now you're not going to put up with mind games anymore. Clarify the wheel. Clarify the wheel, please. It was about a queen of cups that you worked with. A queen of cups that somebody worked with. Could be a Pisces. This is the one who draws. What about this Queen of Cups? <clears throat> it looks like you and her had an argument or communication about scarcity mindset, like. Why are you holding on to somebody who doesn't even respond to your text messages? Somehow this Queen of Cups could be the one who stabbed you in the back. This person could have slept with your man. Alright. <clears throat> and now you have a lot of nostalgia. As a result of this Queen of Cups here. I don't know why she's here. Alright, why does Divine Masculine have the High Priestess? Because you have the High Priestess also. Because Divine Masculine has been through a dark night of the soul and is ready to take a risk to try something new. Divine Masculine is healing. What do they want to try new? They have the full and so do you. They have hope that this relationship can work. Alright, why is the world on the bottom of the deck? Okay, because they were unawakened and that's why this Ten of Swords is there. The Ten of Swords is there. And what's the T? Nobody wants to hear it. It's in reverse, but it's there. And it has to do with somebody you knew that they were in love with. An Ace of Cups in reverse. It could have been the loss of a pregnancy. That can represent the loss of a pregnancy. Or it can represent uh, somebody that they were in love with, but they're not in love with anymore. Alright, so... What's the tea? What's the tea? That somebody's been venting and talking about your issues. They like watching shit go down and enjoying the gossip. They have a crush and they're promiscuous. Sounds like the Queen of Cups to me. Which is probably a Pisces or they have a Pisces placement. And somebody has a private relationship. Somebody's busy. That one's the one that's in reverse. Somebody got caught. There was evidence of cheating. There was evidence of somebody cheating. Alright, so there was evidence of cheating in a private relationship. Somebody enjoys gossip and there was a crush. So that's what's going to end. That Divine Masculine is ending that because somebody was also doing drugs on the bottom of the deck. That's the toxicity that you had concerns about over here. I never did ask why the fool's on the bottom of the deck. Why is the fool on the bottom of the deck? Your cards fly out. That one's full across the room. Because
because you're over this. The chariot's here. You're like, I'm over this. I got in my car and I drove as far and fast as I could away from this. We're not friends anymore. They're not going to deceive me anymore. And I'm not self-sabotaging anymore. I'm going hermit. And I'm going to soul search about this whole situation. Divine Masculine showed up though. There he is in reverse. He stuck to the table. So, you're getting over this. It is a friendship. They deceived you and they self-sabotaged. It's like they sabotage the relationship, or you do. One of you sabotages this, and it never works out. And you had, in, in your energy, you had another woman. So you could be like bisexual and had another woman that you had the crush on, and they found out about it. Or they could have had an affair with that person and they were doing drugs and people were talking about it. Is there anything else we need to know? The King of Swords is here. Why is the King of Swords here? Because this King of Swords wants things to be equal. They want equality. Alright. Who do they want us to quality with? Leo's here, strength, and the Hierophant's here in reverse. So there's a King of Swords, somebody who is very witty, very intelligent. They're a sharp dresser, they take care of their body. They are very communicable, like they love to talk, they love to chit chat, they like to do they like to gossip. <laughs> they want equality and they're they're determined that they're gonna have it. But they don't want to be married. Why do they not want to be married? Why do they not want to be married? Because this person that they're married to makes them feel isolated and alone. They've been left out in the cold by this person. And this person has manipulated the hell out of them. What does that have to do with the Divine Feminine? Because Divine Feminine, you're the Queen of Swords. And you're this person's joy, their happiness. You are their identical match. But right now, you're both showing up as the Queen and King of Swords. You both have boundaries up. You're demanding equality, strength. You don't want marriage. But you don't want this person to be cold to you. You want them to be happy. You want them to have happiness. What would it take for that to be, to be possible? There's some old wounds that need to be revisited. The King of Cups in reverse. What old wounds need to be revisited? <clears throat> the King of Wands. Spying. There was a king of wands in the past. What what did they do? Divine Masculine came out with the truth. Divine Masculine's in reverse, but the truth came out. So the truth came out about the King of Wands and Divine Masculine. Must have been the one that found out. Alright, what was the truth? That there was hope. Because this person did not... Th this person tried to get with Divine Feminine, and Divine Feminine was like, no, not interested.
interested. It could have been an Aries because we have the Fool here. Or it could have been a Leo. But they were like, no, I don't want this Leo. And Divine Masculine is talking about the Leo over here. And equality. And it's like, you left me out in the cold. You wouldn't marry me. You left me out in the cold. And you put up these boundaries with me when all I wanted was happiness with you. And the old wounds that have to be revisited are this King of Swords. I'm sorry, King of Wands. Reverse any roles you need to. But there was a King of Wands that you were thinking about having a fling with or whatever. And Divine Masculine found out the truth that you had nothing to do with this person. And then they felt like there was hope for the relationship when they found out that you were faithful to them and that you did not go with this person. You never even had an idea about going with this person. So, that's good, huh? <laughs> Alright, what else do we want to know? Let's see what comes out of these. These are always interesting. What would you say to Divine Feminine out of these, Spirit? Divine Feminine, use your intuition to put away the computer. Alright, what about Divine Masculine? Divine Masculine, Spirit says, you have abundance in children. What about children? Play hard with your children. Oh, these there's children that are playing games and interfering with your relationship and your money. And you need to get that balanced out. What would you say between the two of these needs to happen or will happen? Your longing. What else? You're both longing for one another, whether you're admitting it or not. You can be completely open with this person, but you have to wait. It is a twin flame, and you need to make a decision because you've learned this spiritual lesson. You've been in denial. Clarify the spiritual lesson. It's a warning to go slow. Alright, what else? There's a soulmate that regrets being strictly sexual, unavailable, having rejection, boundaries, and taking a leap of faith. So there was a soulmate that was strictly sexual. And caused you to be unavailable and to reject, one of you to reject the other. That's why the boundaries were put up. But Spirit says, now you want to take a leap of faith <clears throat> because of finances. Clarify why they want this leap of faith. Because they want to, re re they want to marry you. They want to marry you. They're awakening to the fact that you are who they want to be married to. Alrighty then, there's something that's supposed to come out of this drawer. Talk to me, spirit, out of this drawer. What do you want to say for Divine Feminine? Divine Feminine, you need to keep good boundaries, and you're going to get answers about your prosperity. Alright, how about Divine Masculine? Divine Masculine, you have a lot of talent. You're going to have a new beginning, and you're going to use your willpower. All right, what's going to happen between the two of them? You're going to have peace and a career. You might work together and good luck. All right, now I'm going to pull money cards, and then we're going to close because I don't want it excessively long with these. What's going to happen with Divine Feminine's money spirit? Oh, that flew out. You're going to use a promoter, and you're going to have charity. All right, what about Divine Masculine's money? Divine Masculine, you have angelic help. Oh, you have caution, but angelic help, a strategy, something temporary. 
comfort and patience. Yeah, so you have temporary comfort and caution. Why is caution here for the divine masculine? You have the angelic help, but you do have caution. <clears throat> it has to do with change. Clarify what you mean by change, caution about change. It's about spell work, the office, something legal, being in leadership, and having a celebration, a mechanic, and settling. How's the spell work going to end up? You're going to have stability and spirituality and growth. Somebody's left you a legacy. You're going to have good luck and a counselor with a home on the bottom of the bed. All right. I guess we'll cut it off there and I'll pull some trinkets. Trinkets for divine feminine spirit. What trinkets would you give divine feminine out of here? All right, I got a piece of crystal. I got the Chinese food thing. The astrology dice. What's for you will not pass you by. A Mustang horse. A cross. A fancy cat. Perhaps love. A starfish. A Celtic knot. The Archangel Michael, a pelican, a bee, that could be something legal, an N for like Nelson, Nancy, Ned, Natasha, and then I have two Catholic pendants, so somebody could be Catholic. Oh, give me a trinkets out of here for the line masking, please, trinkets for the line masking. Oh, Divine Masculine, you got a key, baby. You got the astrology dice. You got the compass. You got this charging crystal. Oh, my God. Your card player. You have the word love. You have two hearts connected. You have We Are All Mad here, Alice in Wonderland. And then you have a heart that says, I love you, I love you, I love you. And you have, always remember, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. And you got the engagement ring. You want to marry this woman. And you have her in your energy bad. <clears throat> Why you're not answering her text messages and phone calls? I don't know, but we're gonna have to uh, change it out of here for the for both. Just combine them together, please. Uh, there's a red marble that could be Mars. We have a feather. We have this bread tie. Somebody uses those for something, probably for all kinds of things. Maybe crafts. We have the bear. We have a key. We have the kundalini, we have the military pendant, we have the skeleton hand, we have the love between a grandmother and granddaughter is forever, we have the fancy heart, and we have the pirate, the cool spirit with the bandana, <laughs> my friend Dean. Okay, so I wanted to find out why you're not answering her text messages or phone calls. Why is that? Tell me why. I have to know. Why are you ignoring this woman if you're so much in love with her? <coughs> why are you ignoring Divine Feminine if you're so in love? My earbud's coming out. Somebody ain't trying to hear it. <laughs> oh, there it is. I can't stop thinking of you as this love. And I can see myself marrying you one day. I think you're scared. Why won't you answer her phone calls? I act like I don't care, but I do. And I think I could marry you one day. They're scared. 
They're terrified. I'm in a relationship and I'm feeling you. There's your answer right there. You're working on divorcing this person that showed up. This other person. And when they're around them, they can't talk to you. Because that person will give them so much hell. That their life is absolutely miserable. But it does look like they're ending it. They're using their intuition. And they're figuring out a way to end it. Alright, let's see what your best friends would say to you all. What would their best friends say? You're probably each other's best friend. What would the best friends say? Don't forget why you're doing it. And say it out loud. It's time to say it out loud. These relationships cannot exist only in your mind. Or they will drive you crazy. You have to say it out loud. Don't be afraid to say it out loud. Don't forget why you're doing it. And say it out loud. I love you. You're my twin flame and I love you. You're my soulmate and I love you. What's wrong with having a strong connection? Why is that something to be ashamed of? I think it's absolutely beautiful. Not everybody is chosen for this. I don't know. Do what you got to do, I guess. Y'all take it easy. I love you. Give me a like. Tell me you love me something. Let me know you're out there. Be blessed. Bye-bye.